Hello, I'm back. Um, 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 um. First, well, here's the the finished painting project here. Let me go down a little. See, I tried to keep it in the color scheme. I painted the outside, this part, with that duochrome, duochrome from Daniel Smith, so it has a cool metallic. You can see it right there. Right there. I don't know. Ooh, there, can you see all that gold in it? Ooh, I love it. Okay, let's go back out here. Okay, so I have um, 9,000, maybe 10,000 black pens for writing. Um, these are all diff a different brand. I From jetpens.com, another company I get no kickbacks from, but I love. They had a sale going on. Oh, hang on, my cat has his tail and a paint. Watch out. Watch out, buddy. Sorry. My cat sat down in a thing of paint. Brown paint. Anyhow, sorry, sorry. Jetpens.com. No kickback from them, but they're awesome. They had a thing. I don't even know if they have it anymore. Where you could pay a certain dollar amount and you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, ten. 10 different pens, all of the same um, tip width. Um, like this is a pilot drawing pen. I don't know what size that is. This one is the Stet Stetler point three. So these are all point three. Uh, there's a Rotring Tiki graphic, a Uni Pin, P-I-N, the Zig Man Manja, Manja, Manjica, I don't know what some of these things are, Pilot Drawing Pen, that's the one we looked at, um, La Pen Drawing, Drawing Technical Pen, like I said, they're all size .3, this one's made by Marvy, Micron 2, Pigma, Point three, Stabilo sensor, and then this one is cool. It's the Stetler trip, Tripless, Tripless, Tripless fine liner, and it's cool because it's a triangle. Can you see that? It's not round. Anyways, I was telling you the reason that I run out of pens or why I have so many. I have no patience at all for anything. So I always go and try and outline things when the paint is not completely dry, and guess what? That ruins your pens immediately. I had a whole pack of these. Pick my Micron. Who, who makes these pigment? Oh, Sakura. I had a whole set of them, like 10 different sizes. I ruined every single one of them and had to throw them away. So this I let sit dry, plus I blow dried it. It warped up a little bit you know got a little wiggly so I flipped it over I sprayed the back and you know rubbed the water in and you can blow dry it or you can set it under a book and that pretty much I mean it's still a little warpy but not bad you know it's good enough that I can I can use it I don't know if I read somewhere that that helps break up the fibers in the paper that's why it helps it lay flatter, but I don't really actually have the faintest idea. I'm, yeah. So, we're going to do a little bit of detail work. Certainly, you can leave it exactly like this if you want. If you've taken my other class, you know that I have this horrible obsession with outlining everything, which makes it look very illustrated-y, you know, cartoony looking instead of painterly. It's just something I can't really stop doing. So, completely up to you. Leave it how it is. Outline every single circle. I'm going to do some of that, but also add a little bit of my own doodles to it if I can. If you're not comfortable going straight on with the pen, do it with a pencil. You can still erase on top of watercolor. 
do it with a pencil and then finish it up with a pen. These are, a, this 0 0.3 is a, it's not the finest tip in the world. Oh my gosh, the first one I pull out is dead. Welcome to my world. There, see how thick that one is? And then I'll pull out a, let me get another size here to show you the difference. Seriously, I don't have a different one here. I wonder if my child was in my pens. That wouldn't be too terribly surprising. Dang it, I can't find my other pens. I wonder if I ruined them too. This can't be the only size of pen I have. Well, anyways, there's pens that are slightly smaller and then there's pens that are quite a bit larger. I mean, you can go clear up to a bullet tip. What's the size on this thing? No, I don't even think it says. But I mean, you can go up to clear that width of a line and there's probably five or six widths in between that. So, you know, it's up to you. It does, it gives a different look for every kind of, you know, every thickness that you do. I personally like to do the thinner one. Looks a little bit more lacy. Is that even, I don't even know if that's possible, but. Oh, I make up so much stuff when I do these lessons. Okay, let's get started. I'm totally off track now and the pen thing has me all freaked out. Oh, another thing. Most of these pens are waterproof and archival and fade resistant, but you really should look, you really should um, do a test with it on something before you go writing on your masterpiece. Like this Zig, cartoonist says it's a water-based pigment so that means if you get water on top of this it's gonna smear so I'm gonna put that one to the side because I know I don't want to do that um, this one doesn't say anything yeah a lot of them you just have to do your own check this one says waterproof on paper and light fast I have to show you this pen my husband I took out of his work stuff I'm bad it's it's called t-u-l tull I've never seen it before I don't I haven't checked it to see if it's waterproof or not but it makes the most beautiful lines so I think I'm going to use that I'll try and figure out well let's put a little dab of water on it and see what happens which one was it this top one yeah oh see it's not waterproof see that mess right there like this one is waterproof nothing that one's not that one's not so like I said you really need to check and be you know make sure I'm not going to be painting anything else over this so I don't mind if it's not waterproof <coughs> excuse me like I said my allergies are so bad I have my phone here to the side of me where I'm going to get some ideas for doodling around the edges. I am pretty much in the queen of doing this doodle. Oh, you can't even see that doodle. There you go. Can you see it? The lines here and do, 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 do. I love it. It looks cute, looks lacy, you know. I'm also pretty fond of this action. Oh my goodness, I'm not on camera. Hang on. Oh, jeez. Okay. Of this action, like a petal coming out, where you can go like that in the middle. You can just do stripes. You can do like that. Um, yeah, those are my favorite doodles. Anyhow, I do have to go online to, on Pinterest to get some ideas. Otherwise, I'll do the entire thing like that, which isn't a problem, but it's kind of boring. So I'm going to do some doodads here hopefully I'll be able to actually do it on camera because that would not be so great I'm gonna fast forward it because it will probably be boring and occasionally I'll be looking over at Pinterest to get some ideas for other line ideas okay see you in a bit <laughs> 